What's going on, Pixar fans? Dan Taylor from danthepixarfan.com here, and today I'm sharing with you my complete collection of Toy Story Hot Wheels character cars by Mattel. This line first hit stores back in 2010 with the release of Toy Story 3 toys and merch, and man, I have super fond memories collecting them all. Like many of you, I'm sure, I was so caught up in the hype of Toy Story 3 that year since it was the first Toy Story film in over 10 years, and I think most of us assumed it was the last film, so I really grabbed anything and everything Toy Story related that I could. I was never a Hot Wheels collector, so collecting these was pretty new territory for me, but I just couldn't resist them, and I still love them all these years later, so I am glad that I went for them. Anyway, in the original 2010 lineup of character cars, which did bleed into 2011, I believe, there were 17 vehicles released. Then, to my surprise, never thought I'd see this line continue almost a decade later, but yeah, in 2019, at the time of Toy Story 4's release in theaters, Toy Story character cars came back with eight new releases. So, between the original 17 Toy Story 3 era cars, and then the eight cars from the Toy Story 4 era, today I'm taking a closer look at 25 Toy Story character cars total. Okay, if you guys are all up to speed, let's do this thing. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and start things off with Woody here, or Wheel and Woody as it's called on the package. So Wheel and Woody was part of the original, very first wave of eight Toy Story character cars released, and as you'll see the packaging does change a couple times later on, but this first wave of characters here were all branded Toy Story 3. By the way, I am going to go ahead and show them all here in wave release order as best as I can, just to keep things organized and as simple as possible to follow. So I mean it's pretty self-explanatory, but each of these cars is cleverly designed to resemble a particular character from the Toy Story films. Not in the sense of literally looking like the character per se, but really just capturing their aesthetic, their vibe, and incorporating some of their most recognizable design elements. Like with Woody here for example, with his iconic shirt and vest patterns, and even his hat. So for this one in particular, it's very obvious, even to the most casual viewer I think, who this car is supposed to resemble. Really you just look at this and immediately recognize, okay, this is a Woody inspired car. Some of them are a little less obvious though, like when they get into more of the side characters, especially if you're not as deep into the Toy Story world as some of us are. But for ones like Woody here and Buzz for sure, I think that they are instantly recognizable. So anyway, here's the back of the package. It says Toy Story characters transformed into Hot Wheels vehicles, which I suppose is a much simpler way to put things. And then, yeah, here you could see the initial eight vehicles released. Something interesting I did want to point out is just how different these seemingly prototype shots of the cars are when compared to the final versions, like with Stretch being blue as the most obvious example. But yeah, they do fix that on the packaging later on, as you'll see. Okay, with my initial thoughts out of the way regarding the line, let's just go ahead and take a closer look at every single Toy Story character car in this collection. So next up, following Woody, we have the Rex-inspired car, Rex Rider. Yeah, you'll notice this one's packaging is a little dented, but the car itself looks great, and this one was also released as part of the initial set of eight character cars. Speeding right along, here is the Pizza Planet Alien, or Little Green Men-inspired car, appropriately named Little Green Speedster. Next we have the ham-inspired car, Ham on Wheels. And now as you can see on the back of the packaging, the die-cast images have at this point been updated to better represent the final products, and yeah, that means that stretch was also corrected to the more accurate purple color there. Speaking of, next up is the stretch-inspired car, Speed and Stretch. By the way, I do love all these clever, kind of funny if not cheesy names that the Hot Wheels team came up with for each character. Um, that's something I definitely wanted to mention. Seems like they had a lot of fun with that assignment. As you'll see with the Toy Story 4 releases, the fun names aspect of these was dropped for some reason, which was kind of disappointing, but at least we can enjoy them here with all these ones. Okay, now still within the initial eight cars released, next up we have Blast and Buzz, inspired by none other than Buzz Lightyear. Again, don't mind the dented package, it does happen sometimes when things are stored for over a decade. But yeah, really cool, really sleek looking car that feels very Buzz, one of my favorites here in this collection for sure. Next up is Lotso Speed, inspired by Lotso of course. And again, pretty genius name there, I gotta say, hats off. And here's the last of the original eight cars. Here we have the Chunk-inspired Turbo Chunk. So next is RC, and now that we've moved out of the first wave, 
you'll notice that the packaging has changed. It's almost exactly the same, but the main big difference is that the 3 is now omitted from the Toy Story logo. RC is also unique in the sense that he's already a car, so his look hasn't changed at all. He just looks like the character from the film, and at least at first, he didn't get a separate name here on the package. He's just RC. Mattel did improve that later on, though, and did give him a proper character car name on subsequent releases, which is RC to go. But here, initially, it was just called RC. And here on the back, there are now nine cars with just RC being added. Next up is the Rocky Gibraltar inspired car dubbed Rocky Road, which is a super fun and clever name. And I'm sure whoever came up with that one at the time was pretty proud of themselves. Um, on the back here, two more cars have been added, Rocky here and Lenny. Oh, and look, their RC's name was already updated to say RC to go instead of just RC. So I just wanted to point that out as well. And here's the Lenny-inspired car they called Land Speed Lenny. Like all of these, this is another super clever design that works really well and with a fun name to boot. And here you can see this one has the same 11 cars that also appeared on Rocky's card back. Next up is Bucket O Speed. Again, nicely done there with the name. And this one is, of course, inspired by Andy's Bucket O Soldiers. Specifically, we have Sarge, the main Green Army Man there for the character image. And as far as the back of the package, just Sarge has been added there to the lineup. So now at this point, it shows 12 character cars with more to come. Next up is this really cool Zerg inspired car whose name is Zerg GT. And on the back of this one's package, just Zerg and Jesse have now been added. Speaking of which, here's Jam and Jesse, the Jesse inspired car, finally. And the back of the package here looks just exactly the same as Zerg, so no differences there. And now for the last few 2010-2011 character cars, these ones were certainly the hardest ones to find and have since become the most rare and expensive ones to track down, so I'm so happy I got them at the time. So here we have the Slinky-inspired car called Dash and Dog, and the back of the package now adds this one and Bullseye, which almost completes the full lineup, but not quite, as you'll see. So speaking of Bullseye, I just mentioned them. Here's the Bullseye-inspired car, Bullseye MHP. MHP, of course, is the acronym for metric horsepower. So again, that's very, very clever since Bullseye is a horse. <laughs> and this one is certainly the most expensive out there right now, typically selling these days for over $200, sometimes even over $300. On the back of the package, the cars now go unnamed for some reason, but it includes images of all 16 characters, what I thought at the time was the complete collection. Surprise though, if you weren't aware, and I didn't even know this until years after, a 17th car was added a little later on, and that one was... Woody Wagon, the second Woody inspired vehicle here. Not really sure why he got another design, but okay. And as you can see with this one, it got a totally new packaging design. This Woody Wagon came out in 2011 with a number of other characters in this collection being re-released on the same new style card back as well, from what I know. On the back here, you can see now all 17 of the 2010 to 2011 Toy Story character cars complete with their names reinstated, which is very satisfying. And yeah, that was it for many years until Toy Story 4 came around in 2019. So now let's go ahead and take a look at those. First up in the Toy Story 4 lineup is Woody. And of course the packaging has been updated again, this time with the Toy Story 4 design. And the cars are now numbered, as you can see there in the top right corner. Woody here being number one out of eight. Also, as I mentioned, gone are the fun names, and the term character cars is introduced, which actually wasn't on any of the original's packaging. And as you can see here on the back, the first four cars released in this assortment are all essentially reissues, so they weren't all that exciting to me. We have Woody, Buzz, Alien, and Rex. And while it might first appear that these are just straight repacks of the originals, look closer and you'll notice that while, yes, the molds are basically the same as the originals, these are all technically new or at least different when you compare them. Really mostly it's just subtly different new colors and such. You'll also notice that the Toy Story 4 Wave 2 cars, which were actually new characters, weren't revealed yet, so that was kind of fun to wait to see their designs. 
So you can see for yourself, here's the Toy Story 4 version of Woody on the top and the original on the bottom. See what I mean? It's basically the same, just with new colors. Honestly though, the original does seem better made and better quality overall, but that might just be me. Next up is Toy Story 4 Buzz Lightyear, number two out of eight. Again, very, very similar to the original's look, just with a few new tweaks. And here's that quick comparison, just so you can see the slight differences for yourself. Next is the Alien car, number three out of eight. And a comparison next to the original. And here's Rex, number four out of eight. And this one is definitely the most similar to the original release, but again, the coloring is slightly updated. It all just seems a little brighter and it's a little bit more yellow down the middle there. And now for the much more exciting second wave of Toy Story 4 cars featuring all new characters. Here we have Forky, number five out of eight. Bo Peep, Number six out of eight. Duke Kaboom, number seven out of eight. And Ducky and Bunny, number eight out of eight. Also, and this is just a random thought, but I'm going with it. I have heard a lot of people comment that the bunny car looks an awful lot like the Mystery Machine van from Scooby-Doo, and I have to agree with them. What do you guys think? By the way, there was also this six pack of these Toy Story 4 character cars that you could get as well, but they're exactly the same as these single pack releases. And finally, just as a final mention here, just to cover it all, also released in 2019 was this Toy Story 4 Hot Wheels Character Cars Buzz Lightyear Carnival Rescue track set. Finally, a track set was made to be used with all these character cars, which was awesome. It comes with Buzz Lightyear, which is the same as the single Toy Story 4 Buzz Lightyear release. Um, but it seems to be a lot of fun. Uh, I just haven't opened mine yet. You let me know if you'd like me to review this in a separate video, and if I get enough support, I'll go ahead and do that. Anyway, that's it guys, that's the whole collection. I sure hope that you enjoyed this coverage, and if I did happen to miss anything, don't hesitate to let me know down in the comments. Any tips are always appreciated. As always, I'm looking forward to reading what you have to say down below, and if you did enjoy this video, I do hope you'll consider giving this video a big thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more Pixar toy news and reviews from my personal collection. Don't forget to ring that bell, find me all over social media at DanThePixarFan, and I will see you in my next video.